Wake up, people! This is Ted here with another Word Nerd Wednesday. It's great to see all your smiling faces. You've tuned into the premier Word Origins and Derivations channel. It isn't words you don't know or haven't used, but it's where does the word come from? Well, this week's word is something we might all be experiencing, but it's actually not the case. Are you feeling ostracized? Ostracized, by definition, means exclude someone from a society or a group, similar to banished. But it's done by a vote. This is a little bit different. We're all feeling alone and isolated, but we're not ostracized. The word ostracized and the concept of democracy were both born in ancient Greece, where the practice of a democratic vote extended to citizens voting whether there were any dangerous individuals who should be banished, because they were becoming too powerful and thus a threat to democracy. Those who were eligible to vote exercised this privilege by writing their vote on a shard of broken pottery, called an Ostracon. If the vote came back in favor of ostracizing or banishing the person, then they were ostracized. From the ancient Greek word ostracizine, meaning to ostracize. And there was this one dude, Themistocles, who was ostracized this way. But the archaeologists found out that there were a bunch of shards that apparently were scratched the name on by people who were literate and handed out to the people who were illiterate so that they could drop the shard into the pot and therefore vote this guy out. The word has nothing to do with ostriches, the flightless birds. <laughs> Similar though the words are. Well, there you go, that's the word for this week. And just remember, guys, it's never too late to redo, restart, rebuild, reboot, rekindle, rebirth your life. You can always turn it around and go in any direction you like. Let's create a renaissance on Earth. Oh, and one more thing. Mm -hmm.